Over on Instagram, I left the choice up to you guys on what video we would be doing today. Today we are doing my favorite things. Currently, right now, my favorite things. <laughs> so I thought I'd just bring you 10 different things in different areas of what I'm loving because I don't know about you guys, but I love to see what other people are into because I don't even know like what, if, wow, I might like that TV show or that book or that craft or that DIY. And so I thought it'd be really fun if I showed you what I was doing right now. So let's just start super basic where people are always like, what are you reading? All right. So I have to admit, I'm not really reading anything right now other than the flower letters which I shared the flower letters back over the winter when I did a video about uh, hobbies to try to stop scrolling. I will leave a link below to them. I just think they're really fun. It is a like a subscription and every two weeks you get a letter in the mail and it's the story. Like I'm doing the Magnolia collection where it's set in the early 1800s and it's very Jane Austen. Her love story is a romance novel. I got it for my mother-in-law and she's doing a Western series where it's kind of like a mail order bride. So it's actually, it's super interesting, really fun thing to read. Kind of going with the same category. I want to talk about a podcast that I really loved. I thought it was super interesting. I'm not a big podcast girl. I will let you know that Jason and I enjoy Letters from Sing Sing. It was very interesting. It was about a man who was convicted for 25 years to life for a murder. And he sends a letter to uh, one of the guys to, on Dateline and basically asks him to please look into his story and how it has evolved and kept going for the last 20 years. And what happens it was it was definitely kept my interest and just blows my mind just the things that some people have to go through really makes you feel blessed all right next I thought I would share a really fun recipe over on Instagram I shared this this is a two ingredient donut recipe you use a box of strawberry cake mix and two cups of applesauce, not the kind that has a cinnamon in it. And you just beat those together and grease your donut pan and basically fill that up. Bake it in the oven on 425 for eight to nine minutes. What you do to make sure they're done is you just reach in and you like touch them and if they spring back up, they're done. If, you, if they leave an indent, they're not done. So basically then you pull them out, you let them cool in the pan for five minutes and then you dip them into icing that you have taken. Like I use cream cheese frosting that I just got in the can and I put it in the microwave for about, oh, honestly, mine was about 15 seconds. And then I just dipped the donut down in it and while it was still wet, I did sprinkles over the top. Now I will let you know what the downfall was of this recipe. One, we couldn't keep them around because we kept eating them. They're delicious. Two, Yes, it does taste like, it tastes like cake because it's a cake donut. I mean, you know cake donuts are at donut places. And so anyway, it's a cake donut, but they're very moist. And so my recommendation when I first put it on Instagram was to uh, make sure that they're sealed tightly. <sighs> Don't seal them tightly. I actually learned, and I should have said this, that if you seal them too tight, it, they just get way overly moist. They need to, they need a little, they need to air out a little bit. I know that sounds weird. I mean, yeah, you want them to stay moist, but you don't want them to get like wet. You know what I mean? So watch that part. But other than that, these donuts are a hit, man. Jason was loving them. I will tell you that coming this fall, I'm going to do it over on Instagram. I'm going to share, but I'm going to share it with you guys because you guys are my favorite audience ever. I'm going to share the favorite recipe. It is instead of a strawberry with applesauce, you do a spice cake mix with cinnamon applesauce. And then, oh, so good for fall. Dip it in your cream cheese frosting and then do sprinkled pecans on top. And if you don't like sprinkled pecans, you don't have to. And my neighbor had a really awesome suggestion. Uh, you put raisins in the mix. So I'm gonna try that and see how that tastes. So easy, fun to do for your family. So that is my favorite recipe that I'm loving right now because it's just it's so easy. Okay, next up, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite quote unquote gadgets. It's technically not a gadget, but you guys know I'm all about like storage and organization. I love this product. So in the past, I've been using, you know, like the hard plastic tubs to do all my storage in the attic. And I do like them because I do like the clear ones that I can see like for my Christmas items. I just feel like they take up a lot of room, a lot of room. 
And so I found a really great alternative. I went and emptied one of these out to show you. It's a little storage bag, <laughs> little. It actually gets really big. And I've been storing like bedding, home decor, different things like that. Things that I know don't need a super hard surface, like don't put anything breakable in them. But other than that, you know, my throw pillows, my throw blankets, things that I'm using for different seasons, things like that that are soft. I have been loving these. These actually get very large and they hold a ton. They're reinforced. The straps are reinforced on the bottom and then they just zip open. Fantastic. One of my favorite things, I didn't advertise this over on Instagram. I should have, but I really didn't want to talk a ton about Amazon Prime Day because I already felt like everyone was overwhelmed with everyone telling them what they thought they needed. This is one of the things that I was like, oh, I have to have this. And so yeah, basically like, oh, here's one that's full of stuff. This has got a bunch of like bedding and stuff like that. These are also great for like transporting things back and forth for like kids in college and dorms bringing their laundry home. I mean, they're very versatile and very durable. So that's my favorite little gadget right now. All right, next up, let's talk skincare slash makeup. So none, none of this is sponsored by the way. These are all my own personal, total personal opinions. Okay, so you guys know I love Osea. And um, one of the products that I haven't shared with you that I've been using, and it's because I always try products before I do ever advertise them. Uh, I really like to make sure I actually like things. I, oh, I get so mad <laughs> when people are like, I can't believe you did ads on your video. Well, first of all, wow, you should cheer people on. You have to work really hard to get ads on your videos. And two, not ads, but like sponsorships. And two, I personally, only show you things I really actually use and actually love. So here's my newest one. I haven't advertised it yet. I'm just gonna tell you what I've been using. Anti-aging C serum. It's amazing. This is just a little sample that I've been using and it's something that I just think it's been doing a great job. I'll keep you guys posted and uh, be on the lookout here in the next week or two. I will have a discount code for you guys coming up for Osea. I did do a sponsorship for them, so stay tuned on that. But the, okay, so that was skincare, something new I've been lo loving. And then I have to talk about makeup a little bit. This is the Rodan and Fields, um, what's the actual name of it? Oh, okay, this is the Rodan and Fields Radiant Defense Perfecting Liquid. I love this stuff because it's really lightweight. If you don't want to wear like foundation and all that, yeah, it has color to it. Like I wear beige and there's a whole bunch of different uh, colors, but I wear beige and it just helps cover up just some of the little imperfections and freckles or sunspots or anything like that. And it has SPF 30 in it. So this is your sunblock. So not only is it just helping like smooth your skin out and make it look nice, it's also giving you that, uh, you know, that sunscreen that you need in order to not get all the damage that you're trying to cover up. So this is one of my favorites. I started using this a while back. I've been a fan of Rodan and Fields for a while and I've used quite a bit of their products and I, I do have to say this is one of my favorites. It doesn't get cakey, doesn't settle in like my fine lines and that type of thing. I do wear it very lightly. I do suggest that, but it does have buildable coverage. So if you like it thicker, heavier, and want to make it more like a foundation, um, you can do that also. So. All right, let's switch back to something that I thought was just mind blowing. Let's talk about a TV show that, oh, it was actually a documentary. It was on Netflix. Let me know in the comments down below if you watch this. It was called Take Care of Maya. Oh my goodness. It was heartbreaking. I'm not gonna give any details. Be prepared to have your heartstrings pulled. It was so shocking. I think maybe one of the reasons I did enjoy it so much is just being in the healthcare field. But basically, you just have to see it. It's frustrating and it just breaks my heart for that family and everything that they went through. And it's sad to know that this goes on all the time and all over and just really, really makes you stop and think about things. So it was Take Care of Maya and that was on Netflix. You know it's super helpful, right? If you like this video, share it with your friends, leave a comment, make sure you're subscribed. All these things really help me out. Okay, let's talk about my favorite crafting thing right now. You guys know I love to craft. It's just one of my favorite things. I love to do DIYs. If you watch last week's video, which 
I have to say, it just bums me out that YouTube is really slow in the home decor world. During the summer months, everybody's busy and, you know, they're on vacation, but it'll really ramp up here in the fall because everyone starts looking for like fall ideas and then Christmas and it gets super busy. But I did a fun video where we did paint inlays from Iron Orchid Designs, uh, IOD, and it was really fun. And it was really fun because we rolled the dice and it, it, you just have to see it. I'll leave a link up here for you if you want to go check it out highly recommend it. You guys all did the sweetest comments on it. But that has been my favorite crafting thing right now. But I have another one um, made by the same IOD that we're going to be doing. This was the rooster that we did last week. And these are so fun to do. With just the painting and laying this in here, it is so easy how, you know, it works. Um, it's not a transfer. A lot of people thought it was a transfer, but it's not. It's a paint inlay. And it's basically paint that incorporates into the other paint. But something that I'll be sharing this next week is the molds. You take the air dried clay and we put it in the mold and then I have something really fun. So next week's video, if you're wondering, we're doing Christmas in July and we are gonna do some Christmas crafts and different projects so that way we kind of have a few things out of the way for when Christmas time comes because if you think ahead of time then hey you know it'll help get you a one step ahead during the busy holiday season so I do have some really fun things that we're going to make DIY for that and I hope you'll tune into that but you will get to see how the molds with the air dry clay works this is my favorite stuff right now all right let's talk about one of my favorite things that we never talk about we're going to talk about my favorite workout I know, I do work out sometimes. <laughs> it's something that I don't really share about, but I have something that bugs me, and I guess according to some of the research that I've done, like 80% of people over 40 have this, and it's spondylosis of the lumbar, which is my lower back, and basically I have this low back pain, um, basically it's a like a degenerative type disease that we all get, and wow, mine has really picked up this last year. And I'm like, I have got to make this feel better. So I started scouring the internet and I came up with a little workout routine to help strengthen my lower back muscles. And basically I needed to find some exercises that didn't hurt it more just because I'm, I'm not a guru, I'm not an expert. I'm gonna link, leave a link down below. Um, of where I read the article and like the exercises that were recommended and the ones that I have been doing and I have you know I have seen a marked improvement and so if that's something if you have lower back pain I just highly recommend because it only is going to get worse as we age it's going to get worse so one of the things that I wanted to include on here is my favorite hobby and my hobbies change according to the season. So like I said earlier, I had put out a hobby video and basically, you know, showed you things that I did, but most of those were over the winter. So when it's summertime, I am an outdoor girl. I want to be out fishing. I want to just be out in the sun. I'm one of those weirdos that I don't mind when it's super hot and I just find myself being drawn to being outdoors. And so one of the things that I do every day I'm going to just really sound so old. I'm loving the birds. I love the birds. And so does Jason. Is this just something that comes natural with aging? I used to make fun, not make fun, but I used to think about my grandma and how much she loved birds, and now here I am. We're buying bird feeders, and Jason's building bird houses, and all this stuff. But you guys, you will get so much enjoyment out of seeing what ends up coming to your yard. Over on Instagram, I've been sharing some of my nightly uh, little adventures of things that have been happening where the raccoons are coming to the yard, the fox are coming to the yard, my beautiful indigo bunting bird, which is just, oh. And of course, I love red cardinals. They're always coming. There's just tons. We have so many kinds. A while back, I did a fashion video of some of the things that I bought for this, you know, spring and summer. And I will say that pretty much I'm fashion wise, like my favorite thing right now is being comfortable. I broke down and I needed a slip on shoe because I always wear closed toed shoes. I feel like I'm always wearing my Hey Dudes 
or these, you know, little like Ked type shoes. And I'm like, I need an open toe shoe for summer that I can just slip my feet in, go outside and water my flowers and not even worry about it. And so I took advantage of a sale that they had on Amazon and I purchased these little slide-ons because everybody's talking about how comfortable they are. I will tell you, this required me to actually get a pedicure. <laughs> <laughs> it is very rare in this house. I haven't had a pedicure in over a year. I'm so bad. These shoes are so comfortable. Definitely one of my favorite things for fashion right now is simplicity and just, oh, just wearing what's comfortable, what is easy, and these are definitely it. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this wonderful woman that I follow on Instagram, and I'm inserting her thing right here. Uh, she built this bookcase in her dining room and I'm obsessed with this bookcase. Now, I don't really have a place in my dining room to do this, but I do have a place for this bookcase. And I have decided, obviously mine's gonna be a little different because it's in no way, shape or form gonna look like hers, but I, I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna do it in my colors and the things that I enjoy. And I'm super excited. And so your favorite things can become a reality even if you you know if you don't own them don't give up on your favorite things like you can like incorporate things that you love even like my house is very I feel like farmhouse and very you know just like it just doesn't really have the vibe of what I love I mean I, I love my home but I'm like man there's just something that's missing and I'm going to slowly but surely start to incorporate little touches to see how I'm like living with it and I don't know so don't give up on your favorite things your favorite things can become a reality all right I hope you guys enjoyed today's video this was so fun I just love doing these kind of things stay tuned for next week where we're gonna be doing Christmas in July super fun DIYs we're gonna be doing so we'll see you then bye bye